Welcome back to North Texas Now, the show that brings you exclusive coverage on all things entertainment. NTN is going all around the DFW Metroplex featuring culture, a marketing agency, and lifestyle bloggers. That's right, so make sure to get your phone out because you're not going to want to miss what's hot on this episode in the DFW Metroplex. So get ready because this episode of North Texas Now starts right, right now. now. Welcome back to North Texas Now. I'm here at the Adolphus Hotel about to meet the Dallas Heights, your guides to the hottest entertainment social events in the DFW Metroplex. Let's go check it out. Hey guys, we're here in Adolphus Hotel with Dallas Heights one-on-one -on -one with Lily and Kara. So do you guys want to tell us a little bit about your Instagram and what Dallas Heights one-on-one -on -one is? Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Um, we started Dallas Sites 101 in 2015, which was a year after we moved to Dallas in 2014. Um, we started it because we needed to make Dallas our new home. We started meeting people, uh, finding new places, discovering the city, and we got to a place where we realized we just really want to encourage others to do the same that we did. Yeah, so we just began posting what we were doing around town, where we were eating, where we were, where we were working out, um, where we were shopping. And it just sort of took off from there. We were really speaking in an authentic voice that a lot of people who are also new to Dallas, I think, really connected with. And within a couple months, we were a real business. And you know, we expanded to doing actual events, hosting events ourselves, doing really cool partnerships with you know, both local and national brands, and just sort of expanding from there. And it's been a really cool journey so far. That is super awesome. <laughs> How do you guys come about with all these um, different events? Or how do you guys find all these different places to go? Because this is the way I find out about you guys to, <laughs> to go so to cool. these different events. I think part of it goes back to like the story of how mm -hmm. we started it. And we just really are those personalities. Um, to start something like this and want to keep it going and really believe in it. We love discovering Dallas. Um, it was really natural for us to want to do this and keep doing it. But then of course there are ways that now we want to stay current and stay relevant. We read a ton of news. Um, we, are, we get sent a lot of press releases because we do develop many different partnerships that then want to keep reaching out to us, make sure that we are um, always included in what's going on in the city. We're definitely Instagram-based social media marketing and an events company, um, but we also have a newsletter, we have a website, we have a Facebook, which is how we post about a lot of our events. Um, we're on Snapchat. Instagram, of course, extends to Insta Story, where you see a little bit more of us. Um, we don't post ourselves a ton to our actual account, but Insta Story, you get a little bit more intimate and real. Thank you so much for joining yeah. us. Guys, make sure to follow their Instagram and check out their website at dallasites101.com and so Instagram much. and Facebook as well. Thank you guys for joining us and we'll yeah. see you soon. Thank, Thank you. you. I had so much fun meeting Kara and Lily, the Dallasites. If you guys want more entertainment in the DFW Metroplex, check out their Instagram at dallasites101 or visit their website dallasites101.com. Stay tuned because we have more on North Texas Now. In the heart of the Dallas Arts District, the Dallas Art Fair offers collectors, art professionals, and the public the opportunity to engage with a rich selection of modern and contemporary artworks presented by leading national and international galleries. We slice it off of a 25 pound block of clay, mm -hmm. the same way you slice cheese with the wire, mm -hmm. I slice my, my blocks of tiles, my tiles off of a block of clay. Called a reduction atmosphere, no oxygen. The one that you were showing earlier is green because I leave oxygen in the kiln. Thought 
thoughtfully created exhibitions and innovative programming encourage lively conversations and a close look into a robust and rapidly growing arts community. From booths that exhibit some of the best international and local artists to some of Dallas's best foods, this three-day festival is definitely the place for all of our creatives. This has a really cool vibe. Check the side and then watch the top. Part of the Dallas Arts District, this fair is surrounded by the city of Dallas's most significant cultural landmarks. From the Dallas Black Dance Theater to the Dallas Museum of Arts, this art festival has the prime location to show off some of the best art in the world. Marcella and welcome back to North Texas Now. We're at the Thanksgiving Tower in downtown Dallas where we're about to get the latest scoop on the hottest marketing agency. Hey NTN, I'm with Marty Martinez, the CEO and founder of Social Revolt. Marty, thank you so much for having us here today. Of course, happy to be here. Would you like to add anything else about Social Revolt, anything about your life, something that you would want our viewers to know? I think from the outside looking in, um, it's really easy to assume that um, someone like me or, or others have it completely all figured out. And I'm the first to admit that I'm just like you. I was in, uh, I was a senior in college. I was taking, I was in my last semester of classes and had no idea what I wanted to do. And um, I somehow found, was able to find my dream job. Um, but it'd be, again, disingenuous for me to tell you that every day I wake up and it's easy. Um, I'm human. So there's sometimes I wake up and I absolutely love what I'm doing. And then there's other times I wake up and I feel like I have the weight of the world on my shoulders. Um, but it's not, the, the life of a CEO isn't a glamorous one. Um, it certainly um, does not come without its trials and tribulations. And, um, but I'm a standing testament that if you, if you just continue um, moving forward one step in front of the other and, and just be positive and know that if you're going through a difficult time, it's not forever, you know, this too shall pass. Um, and if there's one thing I can show, it would be that. How do you work to make sure your team feels like a family? And I think that's a, it's, it's a constant evolving process, mm -hmm. right? Anytime you get, um, to give you perspective, we've hired uh, about six people in the last four months. So think about bringing six complete strangers together. Mm -hmm. And they're all very talented. They're all very talented on their own, but then it, it's, it's a constant struggle getting them to be comfortable with each other, but also learn how to be a team, yes. you know, with someone they completely just met. Um, so I would be, it would be disingenuous for mm -hmm. me to tell you that um, it, it's an easy thing to do when you bring, a, when you bring um, people who don't know each other into a work setting. Um, but it's something that is constantly top of mind. Mm -hmm. um, I'm always thinking of ways that um, we could uh, foster the, those relationships a little bit better outside of work. At the end of the day, um, I've realized that my most important asset are the people that work for me. Um, yes. And you know, that's a lot of weight to have on your shoulders. Um, but, you know, too much is given, um, much is expected. Yes. Um, so I'm certainly up to the task and always looking for ways to improve what we're trying to build.
Marty, how has the Times Up initiative and the Me Too movement changed your work setting? Because I know your coworkers are your family. Yeah, I, I think it certainly has made us a lot more cognizant and aware that, that this is an issue. And I think it caught the entire world um, by surprise. Mm -hmm. um, just knowing that the depth of, uh, of each industry that it's hit, it's spanned mm -hmm. across, you know, certainly in the political realm, uh, in the Hollywood scene. And I think there's no industry that is left unblemished. And in terms of how it's impacted us, um, you know, company culture is incredibly important to us. Mm -hmm. and, and I know that that can make or break a company. At the end of the day, when people spend so much time at work, and it's important that they feel comfortable, but also empowered to speak up when they, yes. feel, um, when they feel threatened or empowered to speak up when they have a concern. Um, so it, it's something that is constantly top of mind and I think should be top of mind of any organization um, 2018 and beyond. So it's, it's so great to hear this from you and we are really happy to have you on the show. Yeah. So thank you so much yeah. for having us. Thank you so much. I really appreciate hearing. Wow, it was so great to hear about Marty's accomplishments and the influence his team and Social Revolt have around the world. His advice can definitely help anyone who's looking to get their name out in the media. Don't forget to check out his website and follow him on social media. So the Dallas Heights have sure kept me up to date with what's hot in the DFW Metroplex. Make sure to follow them on Instagram at Dallas Heights 101 to keep up to date with the hottest events. And I was able to meet with Marty Martinez, CEO and founder of Social Revolt. If you're a marketing girl like myself, follow their Instagram at Social Revolt or Marty's personal Instagram at Marty Takes Dallas. Well, if you can't get enough of NTN or you just want to check some of our previous episodes, you can always find them on our Vimeo channel. NTN airs every Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6.30 p.m. And you can also watch us at NorthTexasTelevision.com. We would like to thank all of our guests for taking time out of their busy schedules to let us interview you. You can always check out more of behind the scenes of NTN on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Until next time, North Texas, now is what you need.